Hey everyone, back tonight. I'm on um, uh, Numbers chapter 10. Talks about this. It says, The silver trumpets. Chapter 10. It says, The Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Make two silver trumpets of hammered work. You shall make them, and you shall use them for summoning the congregation and for breaking uh, camp. And when both are blown, all the congregation shall gather themselves to you at the entrance of the tent of meeting. But if you blow only one, and the chiefs, the heads, and tribes of Israel shall gather themselves to you, when you blow an alarm, the camps that are on the east side shall sell out. And when you blow an alarm the second time, the camps that are on the south side shall set out. An alarm is to be blown whenever they, when, whenever they are set to, or whenever they are set to, uh, to, to set out. But when assemblies to be gathered. Together you shall blow a long blast, but you shall not sound an alarm. The sons of Aaron and the priests shall blow the trumpets. The trumpets shall be to you for a, per for a perpetual statue throughout your generations. And when you go to war in your land against the adversary or your enemies you, who oppress you, then you, shall stand, uh, yes, then you shall sound an alarm with the trumpets that you may be remembered before the Lord your God, who is of course Jesus Christ. And and, uh, and you shall be saved from your enemies on the on the day of your gladness also and at your appointed feast and at the beginnings of the month you shall blow the trumpets over your burnt offerings and over the sacrifices of your of your peace offerings they shall be a reminder of you before your God I am the Lord your God is of course Jesus Christ camera real quick okay Israel leaves Sinai the second year and the second month on the twentieth day of the month. The cloud, the cloud lifted from the, from over the tabernacle of the testimony. The people of Israel set out by stages from the wilderness of Sinai, and the cloud settled down in the wilderness of Paran. They set out uh, for the first time at the, at the command of the, of the Lord by Moses. The standard of the camp of the people of Judah set out first by their companies, and over their company was Nashon the son of Amadab, and over the company of the tribe of the people of Ishkar was Nathaniel the son of Zor. And over the company of the tribe of the people of Zebulon was Elod, the son of Helen. And when the tabernacle was, take, was taken down, the sons of Gershon, the sons of Merimah, who carried the tabernacle, set out. And the standard of the camp of Reuben set out by, the, by their companies. And over their company was Elazar, the son of Shadar. And over the com company of the tribe of the people of Simeon was Shalomel, the son of, Zer of Zerushadai. And over the company of the tribe of the people of Gad was Eliphaz, the son of Deol. Then the Kohathites set out carrying the holy things and the tabernacle set up before, before their arrival. And, they, and the standard of the camp of the people of Ephraim set out by the companies of the company was Elishama the son of Amahud, and over the company of the tribe of the people of Manasseh was Gamil the son of the son of uh, Pedashar. And over the company of the, of the tribe of the people of Benjamin was, was Abadan the son of Gideon. Then the standard of the people of the people of Dan, adding uh, as the rear guard of all of the camps set out by their com by their companies. Over their company was Azer, the son of Amishadad. And over the company of the tribe of the people of Asher was Pegiel, the son of Akron. And over the company of the tribe of the people of Naphtali was Ahir, the son of Enan. This was the order of march the people of Israel by their companies when they set out. And Moses said to Hobad, the son of Ruel, the Midianite, Moses' father-in-law, We are setting out for the place of which the Lord said, I will give it to you. Come with us and we will do good and we will do uh, good to you. The Lord has promised good to Israel. But he said to him, I will not go, I will depart to my own land and to my kindred. And he said, Please do not leave us, for you know where we should camp in the wilderness, and you sh and you will serve as eyes for us. And if you do go with us, whatever good the Lord will do to the, to us, the same will we the same will we do to you. So they set out from the mount of the Lord three days journey, and the ark of the covenant of the Lord went out or went before them three days journey to seek out a resting place for them. And the cloud and the cloud of the Lord was over them by day whenever they set out from the camp. And whenever the ark set out, Moses said, Arise, O Lord, and let your enemies be scattered, and let those who hate you flee from you. And when it, and when it, uh, and when it re yeah and when it rested, he said, Return, O Lord, to the ten thousand thousands of Israel. So. Again, this is basically about the civil trumpets. Uh, Israel was leaving Sinai, the Sinai Peninsula, which is Egypt today. Um, basically, they're headed now for Israel. So that's chapter ten, pretty much. But um, I'll be right back with chapter eleven.